There's been a lot of information on using hyperbaric oxygen to reverse engineer the aging process. Is hyperbaric oxygen a tool for anti-aging? We'll talk about it more in this video. Dr. Jason Saunders here, and today we're gonna to talk about using hyperbaric oxygen for anti-aging. Number one, I don't love the idea of anti-aging in the first place. We're all gonna age, we're all getting older. The longer we're on this planet, the better. We don't necessarily want to anti-age. We just really want to make sure that we're maintaining our quality of life as long as possible throughout the aging process. What we know to be true and what we see in ourselves sometimes, or our friends, or our family, is that it appears that we're breaking down prematurely. We're losing quality of life earlier and earlier, even though longevity seems to keep hitting these peaks you know, 80 plus quality of life seems to peak in our 60s and decline from there. And what we really don't want is we don't want a 20 year decline, even more a 30 year decline of quality of life, just because longevity, just because aging continues to go to go on. And so really, are we looking for anti aging? or Are we really looking for improved health span, improved quality of life throughout the years that we have? And I think most of us would agree that that's at the end of the day, that's what we're really looking for. And so what role does hyperbaric play in this? There, there's a few pieces to discuss. Number one, there is a study that came out in 2019 specifically looking at cellular senescence and telomere length. And in that study, they were able to look at cellular senescence of certain immune system cells as well as telomere length of certain immune system cells. And on average, they saw between a 10 and a 30% decrease in cellular senescence. Senescent cells are like old cells that are no longer functioning properly. They're no longer able to replicate. And what they do is they still function, but they function at a low level and they cause a disruption in cellular signaling and ultimately an increase in inflammation. And so cellular senescence is absolutely a hallmark sign of cellular aging or us, the organism, continuing to age. And it causes disruptions in that aging process. So to reduce cellular senescence is an amazing measurement of youthfulness. Also, our DNA have these caps, their ends, they're called telomeres, and those telomeres protect the DNA from being oxidized or damaged throughout the life cycle. The longer the telomeres are, typically the healthier, more youthful the cells are, the shorter the telomeres are, typically is associated with an increase in inflammation, increase in oxidation, and ultimately accelerated aging. And so in this study, they were able to see this decrease in cellular senescence and this increase in telomere length, which both are not definitive for anti-aging per se, but they absolutely are pointing at the fact that we are improving cellular age. If you could improve cellular age, you could improve the capacity of those cells to function more optimally like younger cells do. If you enjoy the material that we're putting out to you, please hit the like button. That helps other people find videos like this to make sure that we're giving as much information to as broad an audience as possible. Also, if you really like the information, please hit the subscribe. That way you get notified as we're putting out new videos and we're putting out new videos every week. So if you like the info, please let us know and please let everybody else know. There's an amazing capacity of hyperbaric to help us heal recover and regenerate. It's why we use hyperbaric for things like gangrene or necrotizing fasciitis or for wound care. It's because when we upregulate the oxygen, specifically when we create these waves of increasing and decreasing oxygen levels by going in and out of the chamber repetitively, we are calling on all of these growth factors brain derived growth factor, platelet derived growth factor, insulin like growth factor. All of these growth factors, which are very anabolic, meaning as we stimulate growth factors, we stimulate the body's capacity to heal. We can heal damage to the vascular system. We could heal damage to the collagen and soft tissues. We could heal damage to bone. We could heal damage to cells, cell membranes, to nerves. And so as this process is happening, we're creating cellular healing, cellular recovery, cellular regeneration. And so, yes, it's amazing to see studies that looked at telomeres and looked at cellular senescence, but it's also important to understand that we know these mechanisms and we know them well. We talked about a mechanism of action video earlier in the series, and we went through all the different things that we know that hyperbaric does every time we go into the chamber. And so as we apply that and we could look at cellular aging over time, inflammation over time, and mitochondrial function over time, 
What we see in most humans is that there's this decrease in mitochondrial function as we age for a series of reasons. There's an increase in inflammation over time as we age for a series of reasons. And the decrease in mitochondrial function and the increase in inflammation over time ultimately lead to cellular failures. And as we have those cellular failures, our bodies no longer work as well as they did when we were younger. The key to maintaining quality of life is making sure that all of our cells continue to function as healthfully as they can as those cells age. And then as those cells start to become dysfunctional, we actually are supposed to kill and get rid of those cells, upregulate our stem cells, and then fill that void with stem cells, which are new, naive, and young cells that actually can come in and become healthy, youthful cells again. And so the last piece of hyperbaric is that hyperbaric will absolutely stimulate stem cell response and upregulate stem cells, which will help when we start getting rid of those dysfunctional cells, it will help shove those new stem cells into the areas of need and actually supply them with youthful cellular function. And that's really what we're looking for. So from the grand scheme of quality of life, hyperbaric is going to help us reduce inflammation. It's going to help us improve mitochondrial function. It'll help us balance our immune system. And ultimately, it's going to help bring new stem cells into the areas of need, all of which collectively keep us, the organism, as youthful as possible by keeping our cells as youthful and healthy functioning as possible throughout the aging process. So hyperbaric can absolutely be used as a tool for recovery and repair from certain health conditions, but we need to start looking at hyperbaric being a part of a maintenance program for all of us as we age, as we're getting older, as we meet new health challenges or have new health goals, hyperbaric can absolutely play a role in developing that plan of maintaining and improving our health span and quality of life throughout our life. Hope that helps and I hope you enjoy the video. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are going to be.